Good day, good afternoon, good evening everyone. This is Viper S for Viperland. And today I'm bringing a quick how-to video that shows you how to queue up four old school LFR and heroic and normal uh, scenarios from Mr. Pandaria. As you probably noticed by now, at level 100, you cannot actually queue up for these things. Like, they're just not there. So, if you take your trusty Hearthstone or Portal or whatnot to uh, Veil of Eternal Bo Blossoms and fly yourself up over this way, uh, to the area you may, may remember if you were doing the Legendary Cloak quest line, or if you were doing Lore Walker's Wrath, or pretty much any archaeology in Mr. Pandaria, right up over to this area. You will notice that they've added three new NPCs here. This guy here queues you up for normal scenarios. This guy will queue you up for the heroics. Just click on any one of them, it'll pop you in a queue solo, and when it pops up, there you go. You don't like normally back in the day it would look you look for a group for you here. Like it would try and find the two extra members to bring it up to three. Not anymore. If you go there, you can just immediately have the queue pop up solo. Do what you're doing. Uh, you can queue up as a group. If you have a group of three people and you go to do the heroic scenario, all three of you will go in. But you don't have to sit around waiting for other people to try and use this tool. Very handy, because I know there's a lot of achievements around the uh, scenarios, specifically the heroic ones. And if you missed out on them, like in Pandaria, now you can go back and see that content if you're new to Draenor. As well as the, the Raid Finder is handy, because I know there's different color schemes for the raid finder than there were in the normal version so if you're looking for specific transmogs you might need it and i believe there's a perhaps a pet that you can only get this way uh i'm not 100 percent sure keep in mind if you're the soloing type i would not use the raid finder storyteller uh the raid finder though it's scaled easier per player that one's based around 25 players and it's locked to it so if you're doing soloing, I've had much better success doing 10 player normal, even though it's technically harder per player, it's still scaled to 10 people as opposed to Raid Finder which is locked to 25. So hopefully this has been informative and helpful. I know I didn't find out about this until just a few days ago and it, Warlords of Raynor has been out for a while. So hopefully this helps you get some achievements you need or just go back and have fun in the scenarios. Uh, thank you for watching, and tune in next time for some more videos.